In this lecture, we'll look at the layers of management, top management, middle management, lower management, and how all of those stack up, if you will, um, and how that relates to, uh, to, to decision making. The concept that's important to know is in management is an idea called span of management or span of control. Uh, control because when you think about one of the functions that an organization or management has to man has to take care of is the control process, make sure things are all going in the appropriate direction. How many different levers there are to control is the that is managers is the uh, the idea of this span of management. Yeah, the a wide span of management exists when a manager directly supervises a large number of employees, maybe uh, 10, 15, even as many as 20, in some cases more. A narrow span of management exists when a manager directly supervises only a few uh, managers, uh, three, four, five. We'll talk about each of these in a little more detail, but you can see the difference. Uh, between having a whole bunch of different things to uh, watch out for versus being focused on a few different ones that are of particularly re particular relevance and generally uh, dealing with more complex uh, uh, complex interactions between the manager and the uh, and the subordinates the idea of span of management is complemented by what's called the organizational layers the number of of uh, management layers between the senior people and the people that are on the, in the, on the lines working with customers and doing production, whether there's one layer of middle management, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Um, that, that's the, the notion of layers of management. A company with many, many layers of management, and if 15, that's a lot of them, is a lot. If you have a large company, you know, like Disney, and there's a CEO, and then there's a group of uh, executives, and then there's another layer and another layer, and they break up into divisions, multiple layers, that's called a tall organization. If there's uh, very few, uh, you know, it usually involves a, a narrow or um, a narrow span of management. Um, this is because managers have a few subordinates, so you need many more layers to, uh, to operate the business. Um, if an organization has flat spans of management, then in contrast, it can have much uh, lower layers of, uh, much fewer layers of management, if you will. Well, so we'll talk a little bit more about how different forms of organization develop out of these ideas of span and management and these general ideas of span and management and layers. We have different organizational structures and that's what we'll take up in the next lecture.